If a sample space has n equally likely outcomes and e is an event with m outcomes, then the probability of e is the quotient m over n. In other words, the probability of event e is the number of outcomes in e divided by the total number of outcomes. We're going to use this in a couple of different ways. Here are two. This is a four-sided die. You can see it's shaped like a pyramid. It's got four sides. And when you roll the die, the number that comes up on the bottom is the number that you rolled. So we're going to roll two dice. And we want to find out what's the probability that the sum of the two dice is six. According to what we just said, the probability that the sum is six is just going to be the number of ways we can get a six on the dice divided by the total number of rolls possible. There are three ways you can add the dice up to get six, and there are 16 total rolls, so the probability that the sum is going to be six is going to be three out of 16. What's the probability that all three stones that we pull are the same color? We need to approach this problem the same way we approached the previous problem. The total number of ways we can pull out three stones will be the denominator, and the total number of ways we can satisfy the event will be the numerator. We have 20 black stones and 20 white stones. The total number of ways we can select three stones out of the 40 total stones is just going to be a combination, C43. So our denominator is going to be 9880. To find the numerator, we need to find the total number of ways we can get three stones that are the same color. There are two different ways we can do this. We can take three black stones, which will be the combination C23. If you calculate this, this is 1140. We can also have three white stones, which again will be C23, or 1140. The numerator then is going to be these two combined together. It'll be 1140 plus 1140, or 2280. This will be the number of ways to get three stones that are the same color. The probability then is going to be the number of ways we can satisfy the event, or 2280, divided by the total number of ways we can get a sample, which is 9880. Well, the probability in this case is going to be 0 0.23, or there's a 23% chance we'll actually get three stones of the same color. One rule that's going to make our life easier in many situations is the complement rule. And all it says is that the probability of the complement of event is 1 minus the probability of the event. To illustrate this, let's look at this example. The classroom has 15 girls and 10 boys. A group of four students is selected at random. We want to find out what's the probability that the group has exactly one boy, and what's the probability the group has at least one boy. We'll approach these the same way as we did before. We need to find the total number of groups possible, that's C254, we also need to find out how many groups have exactly one boy for the first question. To calculate that, we choose the one boy, C101, and we choose the three girls, C153. So the probability is just going to be the quotient of these two numbers, or about 36%. To find out how many groups have at least one boy, we could have exactly one, or exactly two, or exactly three, or exactly four. And in all these cases, we would have to compute a separate probability. It's going to be much easier to look at the complement. The complement of at least one would be fewer than one, which means we want no boys at all and only girls. The number of groups that only have girls is going to be C154. The probability that we're going to have exactly four girls is going to be the quotient then, or about 11%. That means the probability of at least one boy, which is the complement, is 1 minus that probability, or 0.8921, about 89%. 